my friend just hit me up look what she said yes yes y'all I feel like a lot more in touch with nature recently uh, being that I'm an earth sign it comes naturally but I've just I've found so much solace so much tranquility being outside and I was just like I'm not recording inside today no 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 so hopefully you guys can hear me hopefully the wind don't mess me up but y'all get the whole you know birds chirping and you get the the true tone and all that so let's go ahead and get into today's topic which is my pre-op diet i'm going to be doing both pre and post-op diet and telling you guys what i'm going to be eating a little bit of what's going to be different when it comes to pre and then post-op but like i said we're focusing on pre-op diet today 60 day mark 60 day pre-op mark i'll probably start getting very i won't say strict very focused one of the things that i really want to introduce to you guys before i get into everything is the new teamy greens y'all you guys already know i with teamy right you know i love this brand with my heart like not because i'm sponsored by them but because i literally love every single thing i've ever bought from them you know there's certain products that i've got that you know they don't seem that much better than something i could buy in the store but then there's certain products that i'm like yo i will buy this every single time i run out this is one of them okay now the teamy green superfood blend it's maca spirulina hopefully i said that right spirulina <laughs> and wheatgrass um i've never really been much into spirulina i know one of y'all will correct me in the comments it's cool um but i love maca i love wheatgrass like i'm that person that goes to one of those little gelato shops and asks for like a five dollar shot of wheatgrass just because i know it's there it doesn't have to be from teamy but i love them so much like i make sure i have some on deck once i found out that teamy had their own coming out y'all i was on it i hit them up so quick like i need that because so often you will buy a superfood green mix and it will have so many additives in it if you're marketing a product to promote health why would you add a whole bunch of sh to it as soon as i got it i was on the ingredient list and you can easily mix it to your water to your juice your smoothie i myself normally mix it to my green smoothie if i make one but if i don't have time we'll mix it to my tea in the morning or whenever i break my fast and it just makes me have natural energy without doing you know the most without taking pre-workout or drinking a whole bunch of caffeine it's just it's great it's great so if you want to try out the teamy greens for yourself make sure you guys check out the link below and use my discount okay you you don't have to but you know it saves you money and it um makes me money that i pour back into my chain so so you guys like i said i am about 80 some odd days out last month beforehand i'm i, I will say it, i'm gonna be super strict but as of right now i'm working on you know portion control because over the past few months i've just been eating like a huge meal not eating for hours eating a small meal eating a whole bunch of snacks and my weight has luckily stayed in the same place but i feel like that's not a very good habit to to take on so this is what i'm gonna do i am going to cut out a lot of the carbs that i've been eating right now being bread um I only eat whole wheat bread but even even that adds up when it comes to carbs and I've been letting myself have like little snacks here and there when it comes to you know eating Kairos food at times but once I get to this 30 day mark child I'm basically gonna be eating grass you feel me <laughs> no I'm still gonna be eating a good amount of protein I'm still going to be eating um, you know some seafood here and there you guys know that i don't eat any other type of animal protein and i'm definitely definitely going to cut all dairy in all angles because as of right now dairy butter mozzarella cheese and greek yogurt those are the only 
forms of dairy that I take in. I'm gonna cut those. Um, I'm really gonna stick to a lot of greens, a lot of leafy greens, um, a lot of fruit, and... Come on, bro! So collectively, to, to give you an idea, I'm really going to be sticking to a vegetarian diet I want to keep it plant-based as much as possible I still don't want to be taking in too many carbs even if they are coming from plant sources I want to stick to a high protein and moderate fat but definitely high protein diet um, because I know that I really need to build up that strength which we're gonna talk about in another video we're gonna talk about all the workouts and all that that I plan on doing but we talking about diet right now the last thing that I do want to mention is a few things that I definitely want to make sure that I'm cutting out prior to surgery. And that's because they can inhibit the anesthesia and don't nobody want to be waking up while they're getting snatched. That's all I'm saying. They can cause, you know, increased bleeding time. Don't nobody want that. And they can even decrease your immune system function and don't nobody want that. It's the good fat, right? But it does increase bleeding time. And I have my little list right here, you guys. So. You know, just so you know why I keep, yeah. Vitamin E, C, K, B, A, and D, along with a few herbal supplements, um, ginger, green tea, flaxseed, eggplant, garlic, tomatoes, potatoes. And then you definitely want to make sure that you completely eliminate drinking alcohol, caffeine, and MSG. And if you guys know what MSG is, or if you don't know what MSG is, it's in a lot of processed and packaged food. Now it's, ugh. I don't want to tell you guys in the wrong wording of exactly what it is because I do know, but um, it's very bad for you and it will make you want more. So that's why when you get junk food and you eat it, you might feel bad physically, but your ass want more, don't you? It's the MSG. That's pretty much a list of what I'm going to stay away from when it comes to pre-op diet and like I said collectively I'm pretty much going to be carrying out the same diet that I eat now but eating a lot less carbs. I will tell y'all I've been carbon up. Okay? That's why my face is getting fat. That's why my face is getting fat. Every time I eat a whole bunch of carbs, that's why. But my weight is staying at a good place. I'm at a good BMI and you guys, I'm just so excited. I'm gonna say that in every single video. I'm super excited. And this is the portion of the video where I told you I'm going to be shouting out one of my subscribers and reading a comment from my last video, which was the video where I introduced my skin removal journey, okay? So, today's subscriber and comment is from Miss Tra... Miss Trajo? 16 I hope I said that right and she said new subscriber so happy for you and look forward to seeing your journey I can relate to everything you talked about dealing with the loose skin literally everything lol I'm also planning to hopefully get surgery in the next year so thank you so much for sharing it just makes me feel better knowing that I'm not alone in this and to keep pushing forward thanks you are so welcome my love thank you for subscribing i'm so so happy and blessed to have all of you thank you for watching another installment of summer skin removal journey okay you guys stay tuned because we're gonna have another video next week i'm gonna keep y'all updated every single week when i told you guys i was gonna be on it i'm gonna be on it okay so stay tuned and make sure you drop your comments below if you want to be featured in next week's video okay love you guys mm -hmm.